So a couple of days ago, we traveled from Dubrovnik in Croatia to KOTOR in Montenegro. Um, I'm actually back home now. I got home yesterday. Uh, however, I just didn't make the start of this video. So I kind of just wanted to give a bit of an introduction as to kind of what you're going to see in this video and what we got up to. So we traveled from Dubrovnik, which is just on the border of Croatia over to K KOTOR. I keep getting that name wrong. Uh, we stopped at one or two places uh, through Montenegro. Um, and yeah, I just thought I'd make this video to kind of show you guys if you're thinking, if you're in Dubrovnik or around that area, to kind of show you what it involves and what we got up to because it was a really good trip and I fully recommend you going on this trip. Um, some beautiful scenery you'll see. Um, really interesting as well, just to go across to a different country uh, in the matter of less than an hour. It took less than an hour to get from Dubrovnik to the border of Montenegro. And yeah, I really enjoyed kind of making this content. And I've mentioned at the end of this video that I'm thinking of making a lot more travel content going forward. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video of my trip uh, from Dubrovnik to KOTOR in Montenegro. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next part of the video when we cross the border from Dubrovnik into Montenegro. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was it with uh, Croatian Border Control. Uh, your passports are with me. Uh, very rarely, almost never, uh, Montenegro officers are asking. So, I think Kotor, it's been nice. I feel like it's quite small. It's got a lot of similarities to Dubrovnik, however, it's definitely not as busy. Um, some of the buildings, very good culture and historical, and a lot of like churches, and you know, the buildings are quite similar. Uh, a lot of like restaurants and bars. It is all very nice. It's kind of just in like a small square, as you'll kind of see in the video. But I, I overall definitely prefer Dubrovnik than Kator. Um, but I think if you're in Croatia, especially if you're in Dubrovnik around the kind of border, it's probably worth coming to for a day. Um, but I feel like if you were here for a few days or maybe a week, you, there wouldn't be that much to do, I don't think. Uh, I think the sea is there, but I don't really know how much of a beach there is. Um, but yeah, other than that, the restaurant we went to, the service was not as good as Croatia. It seems that they were a bit more laid back here. Um, but yeah, obviously they have a lot of similarities, but 
I'd probably say maybe the first place we went to, I can't remember what it was called, but when we went on the boat to that little place, maybe slightly nicer than here, uh, seemed a bit better. Um, yeah, and I really like all the mountains around here. It looks it looks really good, but I think it can get a bit. The weather around here, maybe around the winter, seems to be quite bad. There's a lot of rain and stuff, and you can see there's a bit of cloud by the mountains even day on a really sunny clear day um, so yeah I would still recommend coming here and paying it a visit maybe for a day or two but anything longer than that I think there's probably other places you want to move on to um, but yeah overall I think it's a good place and uh, yeah it was, I'm glad we came and that's all I had to offer. So just back in Dubrovnik now just got back from Montenegro and yeah, had a very good trip overall. Um, I'm sorry if I maybe didn't film enough content out there. I, I probably didn't, I wasn't feeling too good on the trip overall, um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you're thinking of going from Dubrovnik to, to Qatar, to Kotor, <laughs> or to Montenegro or to Croatia in general, hopefully that's been insightful for you. And if you have any more questions about either of those places, and just let me know. I'm not an expert, but I'll try my best. Or just traveling anywhere in general, I'd be um, yeah more than happy to help you guys. And yeah, I will. Um, I'm thinking of doing more content like this. I do really like doing the travel content. It is kind of an area like I I would like to go more into in the future. I don't want this to just be solely a self-improvement channel because there's a lot more out there that I want to explore and I don't really like just posting self-improvement content because there's only one, there's only so much I can say and two, I don't want you to be watching my content forever uh, and three, I just feel like as a channel, especially for me to grow further I think I should kind of expand the type of content that I'm making that, and that, the type of content that I want to make in the future. So I think there'll be a lot more traveling content going forward. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a bit of a series called um, Traveling on the Budget, where I go to some cities, probably mainly across Europe to start, and then just going somewhere cheap, getting like cheap flights, cheap accommodation, cheap going out to some places that are a lot cheaper than other places. And yeah, it's kind of seeing how that goes. If that's something that you'd like to see more of, then yeah, just drop me a comment below. Or if you've got any other feedback, I'd really appreciate knowing what you guys think. And obviously, if you want to see more of this type of con content, I really appreciate if you like and subscribe so I can get this channel to grow to fund these trips because obviously they're not they're not always the cheapest, especially when traveling is is involved. And obviously, it'd be really cool to go further afield more than just Europe. So if I'm going to do that, I'm going to need um, some money behind me. So hopefully this channel will grow a bit more by then. But yeah, I really do enjoy traveling. And Croatia, Montenegro, very beautiful places that I highly recommend you go in to see. Um, I feel like there's a few, a couple more points that I want to make just regarding today's trip to make you aware of. Um, border control, obviously going from Croatia to Montenegro, there's a border you have to cross from Dubrovnik to the border of Montenegro is probably around 40 50 minutes which is not too far at all uh, it did not take very long to get through which was quite surprising as we got told it could be up to two hours to get through the border so yeah maybe we got quite lucky on other days you might not have been so lucky so just bear that in mind but yeah it, it seemed very good today and obviously we're in summer so it is kind of the one of the more busier times that they experience around here because it's a it's a lot more rainy in the winter time and even spring and autumn. I don't think there's too much tourism they say. Um, and if you're thinking of maybe whether to go to Croatia or Montenegro, which one to go for, I would say maybe I'll do a separate video on Croatia because I've spent a lot more time here, but. I'd say there's more to do in Croatia. It depends what you're looking for. They're both are very beautiful, both beautiful scenery and the types of stuff you can do there is, is incredible. And 
yeah, I, I do really like them both. So if you can visit them both and experience it for yourself and see which you like, I would recommend doing that. But I prefer Croatia and Dubrovnik more than Kotor <laughs> in Montenegro and Montenegro overall. Just because I feel like there's a lot more to do in Croatia and I just think it's just a bit better overall and that kind of reflects in the cost of it especially the cost of living uh, I think it's quite a lot more expensive but it seems like both of these places are are growing quite significantly over the last few years it seems to be the real estate prices um, that our tour guide mentioned uh, they're quite significant and it seems yeah like I said they've grown a lot over the last few years they seem to be places that I've heard a lot of people say that they're going to Croatia over the last few years which wasn't the case a few years ago so yeah it definitely seems like they're probably maybe reaching their peak soon so maybe if it if you're thinking of getting property over here now may be a good time to invest but maybe in a few years it will probably peak so yeah I'd probably say maybe now is a good time but I really think that yeah they are beautiful places that you should definitely experience i've got a few videos just involving traveling and yeah kind of how big of an impact it kind of has on your life and why it's so worthwhile doing coming up which i'm gonna make and put out on this channel very soon but i think that's all i have to kind of say on the on the kind of vlog if you could call it that i don't really like saying that word from uh, Dubrovnik to KOTOR in uh, Montenegro. Um, yeah, I'd be interested to know your feedback if you like this type of content, because like I say, I want to do a lot more going in the future, the traveling on the budget kind of series I want to get out. And yeah, um, I think that's all I have. Like and subscribe, uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace guys.